Hi, this is DH Dunn, and uh, I'm sneaking on here for a little early streaming, a little stream before the stream. We'll see if this even shows up here. I gotta see if I can get that working. Hey, Lady Azu, I thought you guys might might see me. Oh God, that's awful. Let's fix this. Uh, I was trying to get a different game to work. And uh, that did not work. So still doing XCOM tonight. Still doing the usual stream. Just uh, wanted to come on early and do something a little different. Not too different. There. I think that's good. Maybe we'll put me over here until we know where I need to be. So yeah, I just thought I'd come on and do something maybe for about an hour. Then take a little break and then jump on at 8 o'clock for uh, tonight's XCOM festivities, which have not been canceled. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I just uh, thinking about November, thinking about, you know, streaming for four hours. I'd like to get up to the point where I'm good with that. So uh, looking for other stuff to try out. So I figured I'd try this out. See, uh, this is supposed to be very similar to Darkest Dungeon. And, you know, that's kind of all I needed to know. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, we've got some music. I don't know how I sound against the music, so let me check that. Encased. Ooh, hang on just a second and I'll check that out. Alright, I think the game levels are a bit loud here. Let's bring that down. We'll see how that sounds now. That seems a bit better. All right, but let's see. Whoa, um, encased, huh? I'm gonna check that out. Um, be quiet for a minute, Aratus. Uh, let's see. Do do do. Encased, huh? Let's see. Here's my Steam. Here's my store. Encased, sci-fi post-apocalyptic RPG. Isometric adventure, I'm seeing some tags I like. Oh, you can, you can name people and change what they look like. That's a pretty important uh, factor. I'm waiting to see a little combat. I have a feeling this might... Oh, no, wait, this does look turn-based. Oh, wow, yes, this does look strong. <laughs> this looks extremely strong. All right, we will be uh, taking a look at this. Let's see, lots of lots of blue reviews, which is good. And uh, twenty three ninety nine, a bit a bit pricey for me, but uh, I can take a look at that. Yeah, I'm gonna let me wish list this now. That way, it's on there, and uh, I will check that out. This definitely seems very strong, lady. So thank you very much for uh, pointing that one out to me. I will probably take a look at this during my break. All right, so let's get. Uh, that's awesome. Thanks so much. And I'm thinking about you for your interview tomorrow. Are you, are you worried? Are you nervous? Shouldn't be. You did amazing the other day. I don't have my little stream thing set up. Let me fix that. Ah, you go away. There we go. I still feel like this is too loud. That might just be in my ear. Yeah, I know. Let's go. Let's do this, right? Well, I'm so psyched for you. I, while I am being uh, drilled at the dentist, I will be thinking of you at your interview and uh, wishing you good luck. All right, so I think I'm just going to try this out here, see what we think. Um, let's see. I mean, I never take the super easy version. I'm only available on... Oh. If we can only get the tutorial if we do cake walk. Oh, hey, Henry. How are you? How you doing? Go hard or go home, bud. 
I mean, I kind of want to do the tutorial, but you know what? We're smart. We can figure it out. Normal, normal, normal. Let's go. Have you played this before, Henry? That's awesome. You're gonna do. You're gonna do fantastically. I, I know you are. Henry, what kind of games do you play? Uh, we're gonna start. The code of the gamer. Absolutely, man. The code of the gamer. Okay, so um, we've got a guy here. And we've got alchemy, we've got talents. Looks like a talent tree. Check this out, let's see, whip. Target minion moves two positions forward and receives extra accuracy for one action. All minions gain two initiative for two actions. Or he restore, it restores an additional five mana after each fight. Oh, or we can go to these, okay, to these other. All right, I'm kind of inclined to try to do one fight and see what these mean to me. So we've got a Bride of Arantis here. Can we rename her? We can. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm thinking this is probably Tanira. That's usually my ranged range girl in the back. Okay, we got a skeleton. All right, he's probably a, a, just a regular bruiser. Zombie. Ooh, he's, he's holding a cannon though, that's pretty cool. And, and boy, they've got all this on the side here. Is this to add to them? Boy, I really, <laughs> I really don't know what's going on. <laughs> to be fair, it's a bit early to lock yourself in, but my first inclination is to boost the minions. The one less thing you have to worry about and one more thing you, they can do. So have you played this before, Henry? Dark Knight. Make this Drew. Evil Drew, I guess. Uh, all right. Well, I will take Henry's advice here. Boost the minions. Let's see. Uh, we've got alchemy. Increases the amount of digger souls. No, but it seems to follow the basic rules of most dungeon builder RPGs, which I've recently become very familiar with. Well, you're certainly reading a lot of them. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Boost the minions. Well, this one gives everybody two initiative for two actions. That sounds like My a boost. My magic will shake the very foundations of this world. All right, dude. Uh, <laughs> sounds good. <laughs> let's go to the dungeon. The kingdom had the need. Oh, God, the voice actor is watching me. I like to read stuff. But... <laughs> I like to read stuff. I had a whole Wildermyth playthrough where I read and attempted to voice act all kinds of things. But now I have a professional voice actor watching me. No pressure. <laughs> all right. All right. Here we go. Set my levels. The kingdom had need of the vast riches buried underneath the castle. Great veins of iron that promised to fuel conquest after conquest, along with ancient artifacts from a long forgotten age. The dwarves were eager to offer their take two, pick up. The dwarves were eager to offer their services in this project, bringing their untested mining equipment and experimental concoctions for the promise of wealth. They only needed bodies that could obey and that the humans could provide. Okay, that wasn't good, but I'm gonna keep going. With dungeons filled to the brim with both criminals and rebels, there was no shortage of slaves to work these mines. Drugs were used to keep them docile as they dug ever deeper year after year, unaware of the mortal danger that awaited them below. So yes, uh, um, Lady uh, Henry, how I know Henry is he is a voice actor, or he is a uh, narrator, an audiobook narrator, and probably a voice actor as well, I'm guessing. And uh, he, he streams his recordings. It's absolutely fascinating and fantastic. Highly recommend checking out Pyrospite VA, who's in the chat right now. Give him a follow. Uh, and uh, you will be amazed at live production of audiobooks. Super cool. And when I was watching you the other day, Henry, I was like, man, there's so many questions I want to ask, but I didn't want to disturb you. But the whole process was just really interesting. I now understand why you read the book ahead of time, because I, I don't think you could do it reading it like cold. I would think you would have to become familiar with the material first. 
All right, so there's a battle here against three uh, follically challenged individuals. Apparently, the buzz cut is extremely popular in this area. As you can see, bald, buzz cut, buzz cut. Okay, so this is very darkest dungeon so far uh, in a big way. All right, so we've got our skeleton guy here. and Okay, I'm, I'm very at home now. So let's see. Show them their plays. It's a physical attack, does 11 to 12 damage. Uh, it can be, as long as he's in these two spots, he can do it, and it hits these two spots. So it could do 11 to 12, and these guys have Hunky, 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 and Conscript. They have a lot of health, if I'm reading this correctly. Yes, Vigor. Super appreciate. Um, oh, I will absolutely put my questions there, uh, Henry. And, uh... Let's see, and I will be going through and answering any questions you might have because I know that. I super need to make my chat bigger so it's easier for me to read it from a distance. I need to work on that. Okay, so let's, uh, and I just got to say, I work with uh, a lot of uh, audio people. Henry is top shelf. So easy, so professional, so enthusiastic, so excited about the stuff. I can't say enough good things about Henry. He's amazing check out his channel all right so i feel like i mean our other options here are smite physical attack attacks twice dealing 11 to 12 per well, why wouldn't i do this this is 11 to 12 once this is 11 to 12 twice well why wouldn't i do that does he use up like too much mana or something all right well let's see who do we got here now this is drew uh, and Drew can do a Heartless Slash, 10 to 12. Deals the sum additional damage equal to 80% of his armor. So the more armor he has, the more he does. Uh, Dark Tithe removes all debuffs and Feudal Hopes each time an enemy receives a buff. Dark Knight deals... I don't see a way that gives him more armor, though. Which you would think you would want to pile armor on him. Uh, some of his armor and resistance. None of these give him resistance, but okay, well, we'll just uh, slam into this dude again. Focus fire. And all right, so now we've got Tanira. She's got a chest piercer, 23 to 28. And a critical hit does almost double. Pretty sweet there. Overwatch, love it. Little XCOM there. Um, and no, I'm not, I haven't gone into any kind of stress syndrome with XCOM. I'll be talking about that at 8 o'clock tonight. Yeah, give Henry a follow. He's, he's awesome. Uh, she gains 10 attack and plus 10 dread until the entire battle ends. Now, we don't know what dread is. Plus 10 dread. Dread, dread, dread. How much damage this minion will deal with its stress attacks? So this is Darkest Dungeon, but you are the dungeon. Like this is their stress, I believe. Can I see this? Yes, his sanity. Okay, all right. Well, I probably hate this guy in the back, but I'm going to continue to focus fire. Generally, if somebody's in the back, that's usually the guy you want to kill first, but okay, he debuffed. What happened to you? Uh, minus 30 accuracy. Okay, and now finally the zombie. Some kind of artillery gentleman. Deals 100. Does it hit all four or do you just pick the one? Yeah, you pick the one. I want an AoE, man. Got nothing. Zombie gets 100 damage. 8 to 10. Deals 8 to 10 damage to the enemies in the chosen position and the next two. Yes, because this guy's going to die. Kaboom. Oh, he didn't die. Merc them. The, um, the blood attacks, the, the attacks are so liquidy. <laughs> like, they're very, they sound very sloshy. Uh, I think we need to show them their place. Interrupts stances. Let's see, this is Embrace Me New see that's a buff. Smite, attack twice. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, yeah, why wouldn't I do this except... Um, no, nah, I don't want to waste it. Okay, that's also going to... Oh, I like how they die. And it moved him. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. 
All right, here we go. Kill this guy. What is he? Conscript. That's a debuff. I'm not too worried about that. All right. I'm not sure I told Twitch this is the game I'm playing, but oh well. Life goes on. Uh, Feudal Hopes and a Physical Attack. Kablam! Ah, oh, we missed. How are... Uh, uh, guys, how are my levels? Am I too loud, too quiet? Is the game too loud or too quiet? I stress on this so much with OBS. I cannot get OBS to say consistent per game. Uh, 4 to 16. What does he have? 30. Ooh, Cannonball. Hell yeah. Crit. Oh, he missed. It might have a low accuracy. I might not have looked at that. I'm not looking at the accuracy here at all. I'm just assuming it'll hit. Let's see. Do I get an accuracy? Uh, mm, no. So I don't see my chance to miss. I can include the in-game audio. The in-game audio itself is at a bad level. Could be a bit louder, but that's just something you have to fine tune over the recording sessions, just in general when you're not live streaming. Yeah. I gotta figure out how to get OBS to let me hear what this would sound like if I was streaming when I'm not streaming. What I end up doing, which makes me look like an idiot, is I start streaming and I have to then take the headphones off and like listen to the stream to see how it sounds. Uh, why doesn't this tell me, okay, this is move right, move left. Why doesn't this tell me my chance to hit? That's like one of the big things Darkest Dungeon gives you. Accuracy, shows the likelihood of hitting the target. Does that change? Number is not changing based on the attack. I see nothing changing over here, only over here. I didn't even notice this turn order. Think of how huge it would be to have that turn, over, uh, turn order in Darkest Dungeon. Recording session where I record my stream and then play it back so I just to see what the sound like. I mean, yes, that's a good idea. I should just do that. <laughs> All right. Uh, I want to know my accuracy. I'm sure there's a way to see it. So far, I'm into this, though. So you use OBS, not... Um, what's the other? Is Streamlabs the other one? I'm so bad at this stuff. <laughs> this never gets old. Who's talking? Alright, volley or more powder. Wow, I got that right. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. The animations on this is really strong. Like the look of it is it has a bit less charm in a weird way than Darkest Dungeon, but but it, it's got a nice look to it. I wish I could customize these guys a bit. I like the candles on the shoulder. I think that's pretty sharp. I like the his his uh, shoulder pauldron. I think that is has a, a skull on it. That's neat. Uh, flames of love. Oh, set him on fire. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, he's on fire, so he'll take eight to ten true damage, and that's the best kind of damage—the true damage. I could see doing a, 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 a like a series of this so a far. One, you know, down. ten minutes in. Okay, so what do we got? We got a humanorium token, digger souls, dust, and a heart. Okay, cool. I should probably do the tutorial off stream so I know what the hell I'm doing. Didn't get a talent. Brings us back here to the dungeon. Okay, so this is cleared. Now we can choose to go this way or this way. Soul Spring, where one can collect digger souls. Ooh, and we're, we're going to go up. I like it. I like it. Ancient coffin filled with items. You know, I probably like items. All right, what's this creation? Oy. Oh, you can make people. Oh. Like if I wanted a wraith. I just like throw some hearts and crap in here. Oh, that's crazy. So he needs, he needs an ectoplasm. I like this and an ectoplasm and a dust and a uh, rex. That's how you make a wraith folks. 
Um, Why so we I craft that. And now he's here in Team 2. Gut. Ah, alright, alright. I'm into it. Abilities, stats. Yeah, I mean, I'll probably look at that stuff later. Whoa, 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 I saw a werewolf. Come back. <laughs> like, as it was going away, I saw a werewolf. Let's see. We need bones. So when we kill guys, we get this stuff. We literally take the parts of our enemies to make our minions. That's fantastic. You will bring me their heads, their hearts, and everything else. Well, let's, uh, let's bounce the skeleton for the werewolf. Can we do that? Yes. Now, where does the werewolf like to stand? What are his abilities? So this is first three, first four, all four. First one, all four. So everything but this one. So tear up. Loses all armor and resistance until the battle ends. I mean, that is pretty cool. But what about him? He wants to be in front. Can he be in the second spot? Yeah, 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 yeah. Put him here and him there. Okay, that's good. Let's go do another fight. Let's try it out. Uh, ancient Coffin or Soul Spring. Hmm. Well, you know, the sanctuary is where one can collect diggers' souls. Do I know what I need that for? It's not in talents. Uh, it might be in alchemy, unless these are souls. No. Oh, look at this stuff, though. Reduces physical damage received by 10. Oh, yeah, let's make that. Wait. Yeah, with armor. Craft no that. Gold, but it will do. All right, now do you got to give this to a guy? Like, give me Drew. <sighs> yes. That doesn't show up on the model, though. I really wanted it to. All right, this is interesting. Okay, but what? I still don't know what I need Digger Souls for. Is it over here in Artifacts? What is this? If the sum total sum of mini levels about is less than 21 after a victory, Radis. Additionally, gains 10% of the experience from the current level. Oh, it's for him. Now That's him. That's who's talking. Tremble before me. I still like well, doing this, though. Than previously. When I was a kid, which was a million years ago, there was a show called The Muppet Show. And uh, one of my favorite skits on that show was some kind of medical drama. I don't remember. Ralph the dog was the main doctor. But whenever the narrator would talk, they would all look around like, who's like this and I guess for me for for eight year old me that was the height of comedy alright well I don't know what digger souls are so I'm going to go here because I do know what items are choose a battle squad this one please let's go oh select a boon the minion can't be moved minion becomes immune to debuffs increases damage dealt to elite enemies by 25% mmm Ah, go with that. This. Can I give it to him? Nope, not now. Okay, let's go here. Let's do this fight. The art design reminds me, like, if you've ever seen Battle Brothers, it looks like this, except they don't have a body. <laughs> like, Battle Brothers is, is heads fighting other heads. It is the weirdest art design. But it, ha it looks a lot like this. The, the, the aesthetic is a lot like this. All right, so werewolf. Attacks twice, dealing 50% damage per attack. This is a buff. He receives luck and critical hit strength for two turns. Presumably not including the turn he did it in. Other minions receive extra luck and critical hit strength for two turns. Oh, yeah. Do that. Do it. Do it now. All right, don't hit him. I just bought him. Oh, um, no, I'm wrong about that. I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say because I'm wrong. Uh, let's see, so we got the dude in the back. We got this guy. He looks like a spellcaster to me, but he has a knife out, so I guess not. This is the guard. 
Let's see, 100 health, 65, 65, 100. Let's try to whittle down a guard, or one of these guys quickly, conscript. All right, Tanira, go ahead, take your shot. Uh, oh, whoa, he's almost gone already. All right, I mean, that wasn't much damage. I'm not really worried about that. Volley, four to 16. See, now I'm gonna have to waste an attack on this tiny sliver of health, though. Hmm. All right, guys. Okay, I mean, I can see whose turn it's gonna be. I should. Do you have an AOE? Target loses all. No. Wow, look at that. I don't care. I'll let someone else attack. Look at 66. He just ate that guy. That guy is just gone. That was amazing. That's fantastic. Alright, let's see. What is this? Rose for a lady. Inflicts a critical hit. Cost 50. Wait a minute. Some of these attacks cost something. 50... 50 of this. <laughs> Where is that? <laughs> I'm looking for it. Is it this? It probably is. It's probably this flaming wrath. Let's, let's do it and see if it uses up 50 of it. We'll do it on him. Ooh, AoE. And yes, that is... That is Wrath. Okay, all right, all right, all right. That's a that's a bit dark, Tanira. You don't need to say that. Uh, stress attack. Dark Tithe. Oh, this gains mana and Wrath. Okay. Is there a spell we can do? Not yet, anyway. Move left, move right. Haste. All minions. Oh, we just learned this. That's right. Let's do that. We got to pick one. Speed of thought. Night. Very, very cool. Yeah, I could see doing something with this, or at least having it be a little bit of a distraction. Um, you know, I've got a lot to say, uh, lady, about XCOM when we get to XCOM tonight. Um, last night was, you know, I'll be candid. Wasn't really that fun. Ah, your frail and uh, I had chats today with both Greg and Zach, and uh, they gave me some some good a good pep talk. And uh, I think I know how I want to approach XCOM now. You know, you worry. I, I'm, I'm finally starting to build up a couple people. You know, yourself, Zach. Um, Flash has been here for for a couple nights. Uh, Greg's here often. Henry's been here a few times. So I'm starting to actually build up a few people that are watching me. And the past couple nights have just been awful at XCOM. And, uh, you know, it's kind of like the worse it gets, the worse it gets. Like, uh, And then on top of that, it fights against my natural um, instinct to be positive and upbeat and entertaining. I, I like to do that. I'm super enjoying what I'm doing, but I don't enjoy just getting my face kicked into the ground. So I think I have how I want to. Yes, that's what I'm thinking too. And, uh, you know, for whatever reason, for whatever reason, the people who are coming regularly, I have to believe are coming at least on some level for what I'm doing not what I'm playing, because there are lots of people playing XCOM. And uh, if they wanted to watch someone play it well, there are many options for that. So, I'm gonna continue, but I think uh, the plan is to do it in a, in a way that's more fun. Okay, so this guy is actually quite hurt. So I wonder how we heal him, because I haven't seen any kind of heal come in at all. And there is a little bit... You know, I'm trying to evaluate this as a streaming experience as well as a gameplay. Gameplay, it's fine. I'm, I, I'm fine with this. But I don't know. Darkest Dungeon, I find myself... Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, the werewolf's healing himself. I want to see how to heal him. Um, I'm looking for something green. Usually green means healing. 
Um, I'll have to learn more about this to see if this can can be as good as Darkest Dungeon for me. Yeah, the, the werewolf is, is regen, I believe. Uh, just kill this guy. Thank you. I like the fights. I like the combat system. The stuff you're doing back in the lab is interesting. I'll be done purging the world ahead of schedule. Okay, Digger Souls. We got 12. Ectoplasm, armor. Thank you. Okay, he's almost up to another talent point. Okay, that's cool. These guys, I saw them heal. So I think if you don't take people on a fight, they heal. Now, here's this option. Is this they leveled up? <sighs> they leveled up. Instantly levels up minions. Why would I instantly do anything? I want to choose abilities, stats. Oh, okay. Attack. Next upgrade costs three. Yeah, I mean, go ahead for now. Oh, it didn't do it. <laughs> I thought this would up level him up. I guess it's not going to. Okay, but you can't do that. All right. Uh, is he done now? Yes, he's done. Can you? Yeah, that won't let us do that. So we could give him some armor. So this is a lot of choices here. Luck, accuracy, initiative, resistance. And this is stat points, two per level. Okay, all right. Same thing, everybody gets two. And her accuracy is already 115. Presumably that's not a percentage then. Um, his accuracy is 91. She's got... So this would upgrade her health. Alright, I think I'm going to keep these upgrades in, in my back pocket for now. And uh, i got to look at the time here. Yep. Let's see. So, I'm still looking to see what you do with these digger souls. Oh, the Humanorium. Oh, now what is this? Oh, this is probably just the Codex. Like, you know, here's your... Here's your guys that you've killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Over here, graveyard. I love it. This reminds me very much of Heroes of Might and Magic here. Which I will drop any opportunity to talk about. So what if I wanted to build the obelisk? There we go. There's the digger souls. The abyssal obelisk attracts wandering souls. Every minion next to it generates three to six digger souls. And it costs 25 to build it. We have 49. Abode of Wrath. Each minion at the Abode of Wrath gives him 15 Wrath at the beginning of battle. Well, that sounds good. Let's do that. Building requirements. A Dark Knight. We'd have to give him that. Okay, so he's gone. But we got the building. And he's... Oh, he's building it. Okay. Alright, interesting. So this... That was the... Graveyard. This is the talents. He's got another talent point, so we could go into evasion. That costs two. Target mini moves two positions forward, receives 25 accuracy for one action. Okay, see, now this makes more sense to me than it did before. Alright, just restores initial five minutes after each fight. All minions receive plus three attack. Yes, I nice, easy to fury. understand upgrade. I embrace it as well. Okay, have I clicked everything? Artifacts? Yup. Alchemy? Yup. Creation? Yup. To the dungeon. Okay. So we've cleared this, right? Uh, we need to fix our battle squad, so let's put this here. Uh, Wraith, where do you want to be? Can I see you, please? Wraith, baby, work with me here. There we go. Where do you like to be? Uh, looks like most things work in the second slot, just not Necrotic Wind, which is a stress attack. Alright, so we'll keep you in the second slot. Actually, let's bring the skeleton in because the zombie's quite hurt. And, oh, there's, oh it's, it's a guy and then you don't know. Okay, we're choosing the squad. We already did this, right? Oh, we could sacrifice a minion to gain special resources. Guess what, zombie? Your sacrifice is appreciated. Thank you. Uh, of course I want dynamite. Uh, when when would the option of dynamite not be my first choice? 
All right, so something new here. This is the miner. He looks over 18 to me. <laughs> yep, there's no fruit so low hanging. I won't grab it. All right, let's see. Uh, he has 90, 90, and 90. He has less sanity than the other two. He does a little bit more damage than they do. Um, I don't see anything else particularly noteworthy about him. His luck is higher. Uh, I like starting off with this Curse of Madness, though. This looks cool. Like, graphically, I'm really into it. All right, let's see. So show them their place. Does extra damage. Interrupt stances. Okay, does anybody on a stance? I think he is. I think this represents a stance. Let's see if it goes away. Yep, it did. All right. Although that did move him up. Can you do this? Oh, wait. What's this? Warning shot. Stress attack. Might be interesting to try stress for once on one character. He has the least sanity. So let's try it with him. Okay, what happens when their stress goes down? Let's see, this is target can't move. Stress attack, necrotic wind. Yeah, get him. Okay, I like it. This part reminds me a little bit of that, um, oh, what is that? Not Dungeon of the Ender. There's another game that has some of these, I mean, obviously not Darkest Dungeon. There's another game that has some of these mechanics as well. Stress attack, stress attack. Don't have one. Let's go. Yeah, let's go right here. Oh, invalid target, invalid target. It's gotta be him, fine. You missed. Could I have known that that would miss? Okay, do the stress attack again. All right, he's insane. Minus 25 luck. Decreases his damage. All right, guys, if you just stop for a second. Thank you. Uh, minus 25 luck. Decreases his damage. Loses all, all the blocks. All the blocks. <laughs> all the blocks have been lost. Um, removes all ward. Loses all armor. Loses all resistance. But he doesn't run away, which is what I kind of thought he would do. All right, who can hit him? Let's hit him here. My kingdom comes. Okay. He missed and he missed, so he that's good, that's good. We de-stressed him, or we stressed him to the point where he's not good. Now we can kill him. It seems like it would've been faster to just kill him. This is like non-damage attacks in Pokemon. I always go for the damage attack. Why, sh why, could I, why should I harden? when I can peck. Nope, that's invalid. There we go. Yep, you're gone, goodbye. Very cool. Let's see, all right, we'll go here for this. Yes, yes, absolutely. Like for boss bosses and like, I can see it for a specific opponent. No question, Henry. Think of him. Interesting. <laughs> I like that name. Now she's got Overwatch. I wonder if I turn that on, can she still do attacks while having Overwatch on? All right, let's, uh... He's gone. First mistake. Opposing me? <laughs> Your last. All right. I want to turn that on. Wait. Overwatch. She does it to herself. Okay, cool. Because this guy probably we can't kill him this turn. The werewolf might be able to. Let's go with unassuming strike. That's pretty strong. Where's this uh, hunting down? Can't do the front row. Okay, swing. Oh, he's got the, t 
that's the least health I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. What does he have? One? He has two. Hunky. Alright, goodbye, Hunky. See you later. My will is a tide that will wash Oh, now, now what's that? Shoddy armor. All minions at a level 5 or lower gain uh, minus 25 vigor. Or plus 25 vigor, excuse me. Skin of alabaster. And a humanorium token. All right, it seems like there could be some depth here. Um, here's our souls, there's our mana. We have another talent point we could go get. Let's see what's over on the destruction side. A bone spear. Deals 10 to 18 physical damage to each enemy at positions one and two. Eight to 18 twice to the same target. Oh, I'm into that. Four magic damage sets target on fire for four turn, two turns, excuse me. Dealing 9 damage per turn. So basically, 22 damage total. Or spell power increases damage dealt by 1%. AoE, AoE. Yeah, I, that, that's what I'm saying. I'm always about AoE and dots. I will always do AoE and dots. So what games do you play, Henry? Uh, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> yes. What's that? Ooh, what's that? Uh, the minions attacks restore 25% of the damage deal as wrath. Okay. Distillation, restore vigor to, oh, this will heal everybody. Ah, ah okay, okay, okay. Alchemy. Bioshock, <laughs> Outer Worlds, Dishonor, Ooh. Fallout, New Vegas, and Rainbow Six. Okay. Um. I have played a little bit of Bioshock. I've played a decent amount of Fallout. I would like to play Outer Worlds. The problem I have is that, um, and this is just, you know, this is just life and how it goes. Um, as I've gotten older, I find that I enjoy uh, Twitch reflex oriented games less and thought games more um because I, I don't make good choices <laughs> quickly <laughs> so i tend to i tend to lean towards the turn-based stuff things like this where i could spend time so i can spend five minutes making a bad decision instead of five seconds um I do, I do like those types of games, though, and I really enjoyed Fallout uh, quite a bit. When I, Fallout 3, I think, is the one I played a lot of. Still play Skyrim, though. I play Skyrim all the time, so I don't know. I'm full of shit. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, everybody's in pretty good shape here. My favorite content to watch is stuff with a story, or in the case of XCOM, where you invest in the characters. I agree with you there. I point here, even though you're here. <laughs> uh, I agree with you, absolutely. Same thing. Same. I like to see a story. Oh, I'm so excited about Icewind Dale, and I'm going to be so bad at it, but I don't care. I love Icewind Dale. Okay, refill mana or vigor? Mana or vigor? I think I'm in good shape on both of them, but this might heal everybody, but they're already not hurt. Can I leave, please? I don't want to do this. Nope, got to pick one. Find vigor. There we go. One more fight. Then I'll take a quick break before XCOM action. <laughs> I'm so excited for, for Icewind Dale on Saturday. If I get this job, we will have to do some AI dungeon. Yeah, I got to look that up. Let me write that down. Whoops. I got caught there. Let go of me, chair. AI dungeon. Oh, and I'm... I'm definitely going to check out um, that game you told me about that I wish listed. Uh, ooh, look at this guy. All right, hang on. Uh, hang on, everybody. The Taskmaster is here. They worked twice as hard on his art design, so you know he's more important. Uh, 125 health, 155 sanity. That's a lot of sanity. Uh, let's see. Do we just shoot? I, I want to go into this Overwatch again. D&D &D with machine learning. 
That sounds good. All right, show them their place. But that moves him forward. And does it show that that's going to happen? It does. Okay. Embrace mediocrity. Or smite. Yeah, I like smite. Can't hit him, but that's okay. Let's get these lamp guys out of the way. Hunky. What's ward? Okay, cool. The overwatch worked. What? What is ward? Stop. Okay. Okay, can I see ward, please? Uh, we don't know what it is. Okay, fine. But we are going to use the AOE. And it's one and two, right? Here we go. Ooh, I like this cursor action. This is fantastic. Impale Bam. this wretch. Impale him, yes. I'm, I'm a bit un underwhelmed, actually, for the graphics of that. Focus the lanterns, you think so? Okay. I do whatever the chat tells me to. <laughs> That's so not true. The chat would have saved people last night. I did not pay enough attention. Uh, text twice. I just don't want to waste it. Physical text. Seven to eight. Good, good. I feel like the overkill. Oh, okay, so he buffs the other guys. That makes sense. That makes sense. He hates getting his hands dirty. I mean, they do look fairly clean. Uh, this I grant you, sir. Uh, yeah, yeah, this one does twice. Yeah, plan. With a whip, yeah. You know, people are motivated in different ways. I want to Overwatch again. I liked that. So you basically lose her for a couple turns, but she responds to everything that happens. Or she, she didn't. I thought she would. I thought she would go right there. Whenever an enemy moves. Oh, and it, I wonder if we combo that with attacks that move people, will she respond to us moving guys around? I kind of think she will. All opponents open randomly swap positions. Let's do that and see what happens. So they're all moving, and she went after all of them. Okay, that's great. All right. Acknowledged. Got it. Can you make people move? There'd be a little arrow on the bar. The skeleton can do it. All right, so we're just gonna do the jump here. Okay, he's gone. Voided its bounds just as it died. Do it. <laughs> All right, he's got makes people move. Here we go. All right, so this should yes, this should work. She should shoot at him. All right, all right, I'm into it. It's it's a little bit of a damage buff. It's, it doesn't do as much as I'd like it to, but I'm into it. I, I Now I found something that I can build a combo around. Ambush. The start, beginning of the next action, he deals to any enemy at the marked position. Wow, look at that, 87 to 96. Ooh, I'll be off right around that time, lady. I'd, and I would certainly understand if you left, you know, to go see Henry. Absolutely. That's awesome. Are you recording anything specific tonight, Henry? Yeah, here we go. Yes, that was amazing. Saw some fresh corpses. We're getting into the Have Bart episodes and doing voices of the vulture teacher. Begins. Is that our book? <laughs> I haven't read it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't keep everything straight. <laughs> There's so many books that I'm moving around at any one time. I basically um, traffic control, air, air, air traffic controller for uh, what's that called? Air traffic controller, I think so. Yeah, yeah, that's basically what I do. 
All right. Well, this has been neat. Uh, I think it, it, Dispatch. Yeah, you can call me Dispatch. Absolutely. Um, this has been cool. Uh, I just wanted to hop on a little early, check a few things out, start to train up for November. And, uh, you know, I, I, w there was a different game I was going to try. It was too old. I could not get that to work. But I'm actually glad that I tried this one. I may do more with this. So uh, I will be back on in about 30 minutes. And uh, we will be doing XCOM from 8 to 10. And uh, that's going to do it for this one. In November, uh, I am part... Lady, do you want to explain it? Yeah, the big charity stream. So I will be part of... Um, uh, well, Lady can explain it better than I can. But I'll be doing uh, two four-hour sessions. And that will be longer than I've ever streamed before. So I'm starting to, like, you know, train up. I'll let Lady explain that in the chat while I uh, make sure that I... Oh, I just did the save. Let me just, like, uh, maybe level this guy up. Still can't do this? Nope. I wonder why not. So I will be contributing eight hours of that massive streamathon, and I do not know—I <laughs> do not know why they asked me, but I'm honored to be asked. And of course, I'll do anything for the pupils, for the childrens. I will do anything. Let's see. So that would cost two. Uh, I'll put one in alchemy just because we have bigger souls. Chance for oh, uncommon or better parts by 25%. Minions will draw 100% more vigor when Eratus uses distillation. I like that one actually. I'll take that. Thank you. And uh, I just want to check here. Where's the graveyard? Graveyard. Is this done? I, do I need more people to make it? Each minion. Okay, so everyone we put here. So, like, if I went and quickly made a guy. I know I'm supposed to be done. I, I said I was going to be done. But let me just make a, a dopey guy. Just fill that up. Dink, 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 dink. Craft. Pose, pose, and look at all pose. these people I could make. Just so uninspired. Oh, I want to make them. So, if I went back to the graveyard. And uh, I went here. And I said, hey, Mr. Skeleton. Oh, um, hey, Mr. Skeleton. Oh, I need, I need, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. Okay. What's this? The statue. Praise the necromancer of the mind when each minion receives eight mana. Building requirements. You have to use her. Right? Like, I can't do that. It has to be her. Okay, that's interesting. Mortuary, powerful aura of death, restores seventy-five percent vigor. Applies after a vic victory. Anybody can go there. Oh, but is it only this guy? Like it's just a way to get people healed. Is it? I don't know. I can't tell if this is online or not. What's this up here? Arena. Training at the arena. Minions gain 10%, 40% for the current level. Applies after a victory. So I think it's whoever you put in here. You go do one fight and then you come back and get them. I'm going to keep this going because I don't want to interrupt this conversation in the chat. And I'm, and I'm, I'm enjoying it. So you guys keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> Peering into the dark waters, each minion has 10% chance to find a random artifact... Applies after a victory. Okay, so you put someone here, they do their thing, you come back. I get it, I get it, I get it. But that re would require a banshee. Okay, well, who else can I make? I mean, like in Darkest Dungeon, you just had to wait for who showed up in the, um, the cart. Oh, here we go. Banshee. I, I like doing it myself. Ooh, look at this, a rare ectoplasm. Wow, I'm such a loser. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, Dexter. Ooh. Let's see. So she would have better stats if I did that one. Uh, 
if you if you end up with open slots, I can fill other slots, lady. Oh, Henry, that'd be awesome if we were doing this together. Fantastic. How cool is that? Come, dear. There we go. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Okay. I can see me doing a lot with this now. This changes things a bit. More than a bit. All this up here, this looks good. This looks good. I can see doing a lot with this. So, um... Henry, you've got uh, uh, the uh, the form there, the signups. Uh, Lady and Henry, uh, I'll let you guys. I maybe I'll leave the stream up for a bit. Uh, but oh, hello there, man. My uh, I got to get my chat bigger. Welcome. I uh, you know what? I I was just about to sign to sign off. <laughs> I got my big XCOM stream coming in about 30 minutes. I got to go take a quick break. But I don't want to leave somebody who just showed up. Oh. Terenim is it Terenimir? I, I, I really got to make this bigger. This is so freaking tiny. Pop that out. There we go. That's better. It's nice to meet you. And, and did we... Were you looking for someone streaming? What the hell is this again? Arad <laughs> Aradis? <laughs> uh, I'm so psyched that you're going to be there, Henry. That's fantastic. How awesome is that? That's great. Let's see, now I can do this. There we go. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm not sure I can pronounce that, actually. Terran mirror, so I'm gonna go with uh, with what I what I what I said until uh, until I have a better option. <laughs> well, I am gonna be back on in about 25 minutes. I'm so sorry to have you come on, Terran Mir, uh, just as I'm leaving, but I will be back with XCOM. I just got to go take a quick break, and uh, I will see uh, all of you soon. Henry, thank you so much for stopping by. Lady Aju, always always a pleasure. To have you here and Taryn me are so happy to see you uh, if you're back here in 30 minutes we can talk some more um, so that's gonna do it for right now thank you very very much for watching uh, stay safe take care of each other and I will see you next time be right back